The car thing just developed. It came came at me really because it's such a strong, recognisable image, everyday image. And so when you do something to it, it's it's fairly dramatic because you don't expect people to to do it with a car. The car is for driving around in. I was travelling through Bristol with Circus R Chaos. I was their pyrotechnician and I had the job of blowing up a jag every night in the show. I'm just looking for fares. <laughs> I came back to Bristol when the circus broke up and I've been living here ever since, about five years now. My kind of starting point was computers and wanting to be able to do what a computer can do. Like when you see on top of the pops, you see a band um, in frame and all of a sudden they swirl off into space or they, they get stretched or they spin round into a ball and then shoot off. I wanted to do that with real objects that I see around in the street. First of all, when you first start taking a car to pieces, you have to discover it and understand it and um, find out how it's taken apart. But with this taxi, um, I discovered that the body comes off in one. It's an old design where the body comes off from the chassis, so that was great. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to do a taxi, and people have got fond memories of it, maybe, or it's something very familiar as well as being a car. Um, and so hopefully it'll make people smile and then uh, all the glass has to be replaced by metal because you can't cut through glass or you can't weld glass either. So you have to make a pattern for each. Um, window and weld it in. I'll get through about a ton of steel, I think, when I finish. I'm, I suppose, fairly old school in that respect that um, I like the challenge of um, pitting myself against something fairly physical. Um, I mean, it, it's an inter interesting part of making sculpture, really, solving all the, solving all the um, physical and technical problems. That's part of it. It's a bit of a challenge, really. Um, I quite enjoy that. Let's kind of have the block and tackle. Hang on to the back, Chris. Just hang on to it. Don't do anything. Just hang on. Fancy going for a spin in a taxi? This is a device I've developed for drawing lines in exactly the same plane all the way along the taxi to give me an accurate slice all the way along it so I can angle grind through. 
it's got to be marked all the way round and um, being underneath this taxi is a bit scary. I mean, I don't want to risk my, my life just to make a sculpture, so uh, got to be a little bit sensible. If I wanted to, I could get a dinky toy and slice it up, but then there's no, there'd be no fun in that. It would be too, too predictable. I, making, doing art is a bit like going on a journey, and you, you think you know what you're going to end up with, but you actually don't. Right, it's cut underneath, it's all lined up. Now I'm going to start slicing the upper body. Even though uh, I've lined it all up, uh, at the end of the day, you only really trust your eye, so the final adjustment comes with just looking. Each slice has, has to be um, plated either side to reinforce it. This first slice is easy because it's quite solid from the front anyway. But all the other slices will be very floppy when I take them off. In October of this year, they're bringing out a new shape taxi. So there's a kind of a niceness about the time, what's happening to the London taxi and what's happening with my sculptures. Like at the moment, cars seem to be more blobby. Um, there's a blobbiness rather than angularness. So I'm, I'm in my own particular way, I'm redesigning the shape of a London taxi. Imagine this loaf of bread is a taxi and you slice it through like a normal loaf, but not quite to the very end. Then you take a, a V section away from each of the slices. I wish it was this easy with a taxi. So there's your taxi with the bits missing. So when you put each slice together, the taxi is bowed like that. When you go and see an exhibition in a gallery, you want, you, I think people want to go and want to be entertained. And that's what being a, a contemporary sculptor is all about, producing something new um, with the, in the context of what's going on around you at the present time. My dad was a joiner builder and he used to bring bits of wood home and, and I, I, I messed around with those in a fairly just built fantastical things out of bits of wood. So I, and he brought me a tool set and so it started from there, it's his fault.
Good sculptures have physical presence, which all the bits add up to far more than the whole. I don't decide to make a piece of sculpture, I think it's going to be dramatic, but I hope when I finish making it, it will be dramatic. Right, that's a, a month's solid work and uh, the taxi is now finished. And uh, next thing is to get it out to a gallery to see what it looks like in a different environment. But for now, we're going to celebrate the completion with a bottle of champagne. Me and my daughter are going to do the traditional thing. So here goes. Ready, Bill? Push. You have an intent to start off with, and you think you know what you're going to end up with, but you actually don't. And when it's finished, God, did I do that? <laughs>